What's going on all you Z-words out there? It's Matt with Beardius Gaming and if you don't know what a Z-word is, you don't need to ask. Um, I actually have to apologize to everyone out there. Um, I was actually recording and I had recorded a good half hour of um, footage and I had wrapped up Baragost and I had saved it and then for some reason Fraps was acting really uh, really funky and it shut down I had to close it down and the file was actually corrupted so I was taking a look at the episode previously and I think we had just gone back to the um, the smithy here to identify a quarter stave for Jahira and that's where we had last left off so to fill in some of the blanks um, let me take a look at my questing journal okay so I had wandered back up I had wandered up to here where we had met Silky and gone in um, and then there was yet another bounty hunter a dwarf um, who, uh, who was a little overzealous so I, I told him to get some brought him out in the street whooped his ass and actually upgraded my main characters armor now he's got chain and he's almost into the negatives he's at one he's the same class as um, Khalid and so I mean we're doing pretty well on the frontliners um, Kagan could use something but we'll be we'll be getting some good good armor here shortly so I'm not too too worried um, while I was in there um, let's see I got Purdue's short sword quest some little halfling got robbed by a knoll um, got pushed around and just pretty much wants vengeance um, Marianne's husband I don't know if I did that in the other episode or not but if I didn't um, that is up here this blue uh, blue shingled house um, pretty much she's just looking to see where her wayward husband has gone see if he's cheating on her you know usual stuff um, let's see basilisk we got that Zerlong I believe we got that troubles in the region I think that's the main quest yeah Landrin's possessions we're gonna be doing that rogue ogre that's gonna be perpetual um, so yeah and the half ogres near Baragast now you get that quest by heading down to the uh, jovial juggler and Shouldn't there's a we be doing something useful with this time all right settle down uh, you're a queer fellow thanks Emmeline. um there's a guy in here who got his ass whooped by some half ogres and he wants some righteous vengeance and there's a dwarf in here too who got his favorite cloak stolen and uh we got that quest so now let's deal with that uh knoll or you not rhyme. knoll but um gnome halfling lady from the uh, friendly arm who wanted us to clear her house out. i'm on it so let's 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 get rolling on that all right, here it is. We got some spiders. Uh huh. Gonna make this quest a little bit easier. We're just gonna slap a sleep spell on them. Here's gonna awake. tackle that. I don't wanna Cake talk. in there. Go on then. Let's see. You're gonna go intercept there. Uh, can I? Help and you're you? tackling that. And then Emmeline. What you want? You can just keep working on that with her. Yeah. See, sleep is so useful. You got a horde of small, little, uh, little niblets, as I like to call them. Yes, oh, omnipresent of the fallen! Right, everybody attacking? Good. Spit it out. Alright, come on. Anytime now. Here's the RNG. Getting, getting wonky with me. Just wiped out three of them. It takes the same time to wipe out one of them you as we rang. took out three of them. Right, what's this then? So let's raid this. We're gonna need that spider corpse. That's empty. And we're gonna need all this stuff. Alright. Now, this is effectively done. All we have to do is just turn the quest in. Let's give these potions to our potion mule. And then that clears up our main character's inventory space. Go on then. Right, Roll what's out. this then? Roll it out. On it. All right, not too bad. See, that's why sleep. I I would choose sleep, especially at low levels. Um, as you get more experience, more levels, the um, I just know what that. Is. There's like a leather armor there, so that's just garbage. Um, it's not. It's not as big. It's magic missile becomes more 
I guess, viable, because you launch more missiles per spell level. Um, however, the low level, you just launch one, it does like four damage or something at best, so, eh. You know, we're asleep, you can just take out an entire group of people, and then your melee fighters just swarm them and beat the F out of them. So, let's head on in here. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Okay, so we've got uh, Firebeat. He's this is where he lives. Now we're gonna exploit the same I'm thing. I'm on it. It's a hard to find. Ah, your old Garion's Ward, nowadays. the lonely kid of Candle Keep. Of course, I heard about the loss of Garion, and I must give you my deepest condolences. I hope since you've left Candle Keep, you've kept up on your reading. Oh, the world of books! I have heard that a new copy of that wondrous tome, The History of the Fateful Coin, can be had for a pretty penny in one of the stores around here. If you would be so kind as to buy it for an old man like myself, I'd gladly reimburse you. I'd even give you a little bonus to help in your travels. It must be so hard with Garion gone. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Two. Oh, you stop. Three. It's a hard to find decent four, folk nowadays. Five. Six. It's a hard to find seven, decent folk eight, nowadays. Nine, it's a hard to find ten, decent folk 11, nowadays. 12, it's a hard to find 13, decent folk nowadays. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. 20. 21. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Thirty. And there it is. Yep. So I'm gone. The good thing about Firebeat is he doesn't take it personal when you start robbing him blind. So we'll take his monies. There's an ammo in upstairs. This way. Let's see, let's tab it. Make sure. Nope. Yeah, Immo's got eight hit points. It's still like it's still just never ceases to amaze me about how low the hit points are in this game. I think the worst is the mages. They have the least amount of hit points, followed by thieves. Um, I'm and then gone. I think it's followed by clerics, maybe. Um, Spit it out. I'm on it. Let's roll out. So roll I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not going to spend money on a book. The book doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't raise my stats. So I'm on it. I'm not going to. Now, the good thing about these people is that they just have these books for decoration and they don't care if you steal them. Pastry of the Fateful Coin. Alright, so we got that for a freebie. You right, Let's get out of here. Head back I'm up here. It. And turn this fetch quest in. Where'd you go? I'm on it. Where are you hiding at, old man? There he is. It's a hard to find. Ah, you are generous to an old man, so I will be generous in turn. Let me give you another book in exchange. It is a touch darker than what you have given me, but I get a sense that you may enjoy it nonetheless. Good on you if you save the day. At least Emma one improves. History of the Dead 3. Now, I'm not going to read this because, as you will see, it's a doozy. Um, yeah. It really all... It, it just gives some background lore. Essentially, um, the last... Um, the last Lord of Death... Um, there's this there, there's you know it's 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 a huge pantheon in this universe and I don't even it will pretend to know all the deities in the forgotten realms but there's there's a ton of good gods there's a ton of bad gods I'm sure there's probably a ton of neutral kind of gods and uh, this in particular god uh, wanted to retire essentially from his position he was he was fed up with it and he uh, so he held a tournament. And three mortals who wanted to become gods um, rose up, and they essentially settled it with Knucklebones, Skull, and Skull Bowling. Um, now, Knucklebones, I think it's literally Knucklebones, but it's kind of like a dice game. And I think that might even be slang for dice. Um, skull Bowling, they took a skull and threw it at some nine pins. Um, and essentially, at the end, he got tired of it because they couldn't settle it with the, with the games that they were trying to play. And the... Uh, the old god got tired of it and said, okay, well, what do you want to be the god of? And they essentially just broke up his realm of death. Like one was the lord of um, dying people, another's the lord of people that have already died. And uh, 
and I think one's like the Lord of Murder. So, you know, a little bit of background lore. The important thing is this thing, scroll case. It is for our scrolls, what our gem bag is to our gems. So let's give that to Nara, and I'll show you. Just stash them. A little bit of inventory management helps tidy things up. Now, I'm not going to be giving anything to Nara, any spells. She's going to have her spell book, and that's it. Because once I get my dedicated mage, I'm going to be kicking her out. So, poor Nara. Go on, then. But again, I don't really like right, the whole idea head? of random. Right, what's this head? You bunch of chumps. What the hell do you think you was doing? Right, what's this head? You're a long-tongued lout, ain't you? Strangers tramping about my home. Bah, what does it matter? I've heard nothing from my son and his wife for nigh unto a week now, and all else pales in importance until I do. I should have known better than to allow tr his travel in these dangerous times. Leave me to my sorrows. All right, kind of an unmarked quest. We'll be finding Roy, that on the road. Head? Let's head on over here. I don't think I actually did this in the last one. Feld posts in. So we got three in. So we got the Red Chief. Proud of your We've got uh, the Jovial Juggler, and we got this bad boy. Yeah, now get out. I don't like your typing here. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. All right, and we'll, we'll wrap this little quest up. I'm on it. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room in you for your troublemaking strangers. No need to get all bent out of shape. There's plenty of bar for us all. Hey, I take whatever shape I want. I'm sick of you freakish adventurers going out, consorting with God knows what, and dragging your trouble back into my hometown. What do you say to that? I just do what I think is right. We solve a lot more trouble than we cause. Well, very nearly anyways. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny, do you? You mess up the local economy with your treasure. You upset the balance of nature. You flash your magic around, and because of it, maybe somebody's son thinks it's fun and goes out and gets himself killed. It's a bad example, and someone ought to kick your ass for it. Hold on. Everyone goes their own path, and I'll not be held accountable for what the fates deal. He was a good boy till your kind came through town, filled his head with nonsense they did, and because of it, he's dead. Now why should I take that out of your hide? If you knew him like you think, ask yourself if he wouldn't have gone anyway. It's a calling you're born with. Nobody gives it to you. Taint true. He was going to t take over the farm and settle down. Maybe apprentice with Thunderhammer during the winter. He never wanted to adventure. That was what you wanted, Marl. Fun's fun, but you're blaming these folks for what couldn't be helped. That boy was a firebrand if ever there was. No. He was settling down. He wanted... He wanted... That new plow you bought last year. He got the gold by helping clear kobolds out of Old Goth's beard. He wanted to make a difference, make the realms a bit safer, just like these folk, most likely. By Shantia, why couldn't he just stay home? The realm's call and you go. He sounds like a fine lad taken too soon, but doing what he was meant. If you'll suffer my company, I'll buy a round and toast his memory with you. Twould be fitting, I suppose. To Kinnear and Nethelin, rest you well. I... I would be alone a while. Well, tis the calmest I've seen him in weeks. Still, best you move along. Marl ain't known for his steady moods. Now well, we just cranked a little bit of experience out of that. That was actually a little... I forgot about that encounter. I got some cheap beer for ya. Alright, let's see. I'm not going to be buying anything now. Just wanted to kind of showcase it and where we're going to be going with it. Now, we got the Protector. Eh, that's a pretty good little item. But I think we can find some for free later. Not necessary, 100% at this point. Battle Axe plus, plus one. I would highly recommend it for anybody who is um, uh, an axe wielder. If you're like if you got an evil party and you got Kagan, that's a uh, that's a good price. That's a good uh, good item to be getting. Uh, Bracers of Defense, armor class eight. Eh, you find some better later uh, later on. Composite longbow plus one. That's a that's a good one, um, and I will be purchasing that later. Chainmail plus one. Mm, medium shield plus one. Mm. And he's got some he's got some spells so. Um, I do have a list of things that I want to buy, but it's going to be one later on because of multiple reasons. First, I don't have enough gold at this point. Two, my reputation, despite my charisma, still isn't very high. Um, the higher your reputation is, coupled with your charisma modifier, um, you have less um, 
you have less, um, it, it's a cheaper price. So, we'll be doing that. Upstairs is a guy I'm going to be stealing an item off of. Sorted. Now. Spit it out. Sorted. Sorted. Again, Immoen's thief skills just aren't good enough right now. So, we'll be, we'll be passing that up for now. Let's check our map. I think we got one more region to, one more house to burgle. I mean, you can burgle any of these houses. And our crier, town crier, just being annoying. Um, but I don't, because, I mean, I've read it up, and there's just nothing really of, like, super importance. I'll be tackling most of the things that have, that are very, that are what I would consider good items and worth. Um, either expending a spell on or, um, you know, getting your thief skills up to such a point. Um, so, I, I mean, as, you, as I've mentioned before, I there's done had enough of this. a ton of right. Sorted. ways you can play this game. Um, right, what's this talk to Jurgen. Mm. He's just gonna yawn. I should have joined the army. I advise you to be on your best behavior while in this house. I'll be watching you uh, very closely. I we have our eyes on you, Jurgen. Don't even lie to me, bud. You were just you were just falling asleep. Now we got Gerard Travenhurst. Away with you, beggar! Hold your place. No need for us to get off on the wrong foot. I rather like company occasionally, but most of the townsfolk are a bit standoffish. I've no doubt that you get few visitors. It is unlikely they would voluntarily subject themselves to the apes at the door. Apes? Their demeanor may be gruff, but it is thoroughly appropriate for their task. Perhaps it is a tad unsociable, but necessary in these turbulent times. Whatever. Let's, uh... What is it this time? <laughs> You're this way. I've actually got to swap her out here. What you want? I'm All gone. Right, let's see what we got up here. We got a dagger. We'll leave that there because that's going to fetch us like a gold. One gold piece. <clears throat> see if we can pot pick this. No. This. Next. I'll take that wand and that necklace. So you can play a good party. Um, obviously, you can play an evil party. I mean, you can play any party you want. Um, Go you on, have some, There are some very Sorted. good um, class guides out there, party building guides out there. I'm on um, it. If you do need some direction, because again, there's just so many options. And if you're not familiar with the D&D system, you might not be 100% on... Um, um, let's make sure we got everything. Oh, we really need to identify this. Let's give that to her. Does she have any? Does she you have rang? any spells? Any wizard spells? No. Nothing saved up. So. Right. What's this then? Let's roll out. Let's actually we'll, we'll sleep it. We'll sleep it off. We'll get her spells charged up. Let's You've make sure attacked? Jahira. She's actually got a spot here. So. Let's get another heal in there. Entangle, because that's really the best item. I mean, Armor of Faith, eh. At first level, the protection is 5%. So, mm, you know, 5%. Bless, very good. But you really only need that for tougher fights, um, which hopefully I'll be showcasing here. Heals. Um, sometimes In the middle of battle, it's not always the best to... Um, kind of uh, kind of be casting those because they do have a slow cast time and then you always have the chance of being interrupted. We got Detect Evil. Eh. We got Doom. Um, takes a penalty to their Thacko and saving rolls. That could be decent. Entangle. Um, can be alright in the early game. In Shillelagh, that's just kind of useless. Um, but the problem is, is that when you cast Entangle, they're rooted in place but they can still shoot arrows um, and all that good stuff. So... You re My recommendation it. is you find some good items, or some good spells, you prepare... You prepare one of each, and then if you have any leftover um, spell slots, you uh, just fill them up with your heals. Now, honestly, I'm not going to make any bones about it, I'm not going to lie. This, this party is kind of missing some cleric support. Um, I think we can get through it with just Jahira. I think in the second game it would be a little bit difficult. 
Because the level cap on the, or the experience camp on the second game is huge. I'm on um, it. I think it's in the millions. You want some whiskey? Okay, let's, let's sleep it off. Sorted. And let's head out. Let's roll on out of here. So, like I said, you can do... Actually, I, I, I said it, but it wasn't recorded. It was recorded, but it got deleted. Or corrupted, however you want to look at it. How are we going? Okay. So, there's a couple things that you, you can you can play this a couple ways. You can head, you can make a runner for the main mission down in Nashkel. Um... Or you can do some exploration. Me, myself, I'm gonna do some exploration first for a couple reasons. One, um, the experience. That's the primary reason. I hate grinding. Um, I always hated those uh, old NES, SNES RPGs where you would have to grind and just walk around and get into random encounters for like three hours to get your uh, get your guys up to a level where you could tackle, like make you know five minutes of story progression. I hate it. Um, and I hate running being underprepared. And I like to be able to just trounce whatever comes my way. So in order to do that, we'll be doing some exploration. Now, as far as I know, you don't really need to do any grinding in this game. There's enough areas and enough experience um, and enough quests that if you just complete the areas, you'll have enough, you'll hit the cap, and your guys will be maxed out. And then really, if you're not tackling something, if you can't tackle something it's more a matter of execution than it is um, party power a little PP there so we'll be attacking some side areas here um, and I will showcase some of the characters we'll run into some recruitable characters so first I'm gonna make a runner for high hedge off to the west all this traveling all this adventure how do you manage it <laughs> until now I was barely able to keep my head above water Yet here with you, it seems almost easy. Few dare to cross my path. Now you know how it feels to travel with a powerful protector. Oh, I'm sure the brilliant light of your ego keeps death away at night. Yeah, I'm starting to forget why I've thrown in with you. Maybe I should just abandon this whole trip and head back to High Forest. High Forest? Is that where you come from? That's me. Born and raised in the thicket. At least until my mistakes piled up high enough to come crashing down on me. Mistakes can be corrected. I'm sure you weren't forced out. No, I guess nobody kicked me out. But they would've, if I'd stayed. What exactly happened? A maiming or two, if you don't count the second degree burns. Completely accidental, and everybody lived. Well, at least I'm pretty sure everybody lived. I find that most, most of the deaths around me are rarely accidental. These people crossed you, didn't they? You really know how to get someone to open up. Why, yes, let me just share intimate details about my past. <laughs> you put me right at ease. Take your time. Tell me when you're ready. During our magical training, we were supposed to summon a sphere of fire. And mine got away from me somehow. One moment I was concentrating, the next moment my classmates were rolling on the floor screaming. Remind me to stand back when you cast a spell. You don't need to rub it in. I know better than anyone the harm I caused. You can't blame yourself. Of course I can blame myself. Accident or not, I should have been more careful. I could have taken responsibility or at least fetched a bucket of water. Instead, I ran away, terrified of what I'd done. That seems like the right time to scarf her off, if you ask me. It's kind of you to put it that way. There are times when I've wanted to think that way. It was confusing, and I didn't mean to hurt anyone, still. Afterwards, I ran into the woods and couldn't bear to go back to face the consequences. I snuck back into the village now and then for food and once to leave a note for my parents, but eventually I had to leave. I took to wandering High Forest, but I kept running into the wrong people and doing the wrong thing. Eventually, Turlang the tree and grabbed me and said, Take a hike. Well, maybe not in those words exactly. An interesting tale. I would like to hear more sometime. All right, then I'll yank on your ear when I'm ready to gab some more. That's just I'm Abdul spitting a little bit of game. He's, uh, you know, he's got, you know, he was he was taking a look at, um, you know, sometimes he has Jahira head out front, you know, so he can get a scout ahead, so he can get a peek at her booty, but then Khalid gets all jealous, and he's just trying to keep the party dynamic. Emelyn, you know, that's just a little awkward, because she's like a sister to him. Now we got this guy, Kivan. 
Kavan. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Let's talk to him. Hail. It is not often that I come across strangers in this part of the world. What takes you out this far from civilization? We're adventurers, ready to smite any evil that darkens our path. A strange coincidence, I have a quest similar to your own. I have been hunting the bandits in the region for the past few months. Perhaps if we work together, we would fare better. What say you to that? We'll help you against the bandits, but only if you tell us why you've spent months hunting them. Their leader, an ogre named Tazok, took the life of someone very dear to me. We don't need some vengeance monger in our party. You can leave. Farewell. So Kevin will stay there. Unlike um, little Go Garrick, on, he won't wander off. Now, from from all I've read about Kevin, he sounds like a very viable party member. Um... He would fill a slot. He's not really much of a frontliner as a ranger. His rangers should be kept in lighter armor so that they can keep their ranger skills. Um, as you can see, he comes equipped with a halberd, so I'm guessing he probably has some halberd um, proficiency points squirreled away. Um, plus, he's pretty deadly with a bow. I think he's got high dexterity because he's an elf, plus he gets a bonus with bows. However, um, despite the fact that you can get him very early, his quest is on a timer, his personal quest. And eventually you will come across the bandit camp he's talking about. Um, however, that comes much later in the game. So either one, you tootle along and make sure that your party is prepared enough. Or two, you bum rush the main storyline quest. Don't do any of the other adventuring. And then when you get there, you're at a rather low level, which can screw you in its own regard. Or three, you don't come back and get him until you've completed that quest on your own. And then you can just kind of um, nab them. Now the problem with that is, is that when you leave some of these NPC um, NPC uh, characters to their own devices, the the computer will level them up automatically, and then they can put profi then you don't really have as much um, flexibility with them. Their proficiency points will be distributed willy nilly, and not always in the best manner. Sometimes, um, not so bad, but. Um, the computer there can be kind of silly. There was way more excitement in High Forest. Thanks. Anyway, um, and also their hit point rolls. Um, now in the core rules, essentially you would be rolling a dice. Um, say like for a fighter, they have D12 possibility for hit points. And then, you know, the computer would roll the dice. And you would either, you know, say you could get a 1. And that would be your level up. That would be your health level up for that level. You, would you get don't one. want my hands getting idle. Thank you. I'm on it. And um, so you'd get one out of a possible 12. Obviously, not, not, not a good situation to be in. Um, now you can turn the core rules off, and then when you level up, you'll automatically get the max amount of hit points per level. That's what I recommend doing. If you do um, want to play by core rules, I would recommend just playing the game normally, and then when it comes time to level up, turn the core rules off. Unless you really like, if, unless you really have a hard on for D&D &D rule sets. Um, and that's what I, from what I understand, Kivon, his, his character tends to suffer a lot if the computer gets his, gets its dirty mitts on it. So, I think this will be a good point to cut off the episode where we next leave off. We'll tackle High Hedge, some other, um, extraneous areas, and we'll slowly, slowly but surely work our way down to, uh, Nash Kell and find out what's, what's going on with this, um, with this iron crisis, with the iron mines down there. Um, I would honestly, with the way it's going, it's usually about one area per episode. I would anticipate probably at least a week before we get down to Nashkel in real time. Um, maybe even in game time. Maybe even it might even be a month in game time, to be honest with you. Um, if not even longer. So thank you again for joining me. Give me all that loving down below, and I will see you again next time.